Hi everyone, welcome to today's video on Sexual Market Value or SMV. In this video, we will be exploring what SMV is, what it means, and how it can impact your dating and relationship experiences. So what exactly is SMV? It's a term that's often used in the dating and pickup artist communities to describe a person's perceived value on the dating market. This value can be influenced by a variety of factors, including physical appearance, wealth, status, social skills, and more. Now, it's important to understand that SMV is not a scientific concept, and it's not based on any concrete evidence or research. Instead, it's a subjective idea that's often influenced by societal norms and gender stereotypes. While some people may view SMV as a useful tool for understanding the dating market and improving their chances of finding a partner, others view it as a harmful and objectifying concept that perpetuates harmful societal norms and reinforces gender-based biases. So what are the pros and cons of considering SMV in your dating and relationship experiences? On the one hand, understanding your own SMV and the SMV of others can help you better understand your dating prospects and make more informed decisions about who you want to pursue. However, the focus on SMV can also lead to disappointment and frustration if you place too much emphasis on this single metric, and it can also lead to a harmful objectification of yourself and others. By focusing solely on SMV, you may miss out on the many other important factors that contribute to a successful and fulfilling relationship such as shared values, mutual respect, and emotional intelligence. It's also important to remember that SMV is just one aspect of a person, and it doesn't accurately reflect their true worth or value as a human being. By focusing solely on SMV, you risk missing out on the many other important qualities that make a person who they are. So what's the bottom line? Being all said and done, there is only one simple truth, women are a bad investment, I repeat, women are a bad investment. Sure they can be fun for a while, and they can put a smile on your face from time to time, but if you happen to meet them at their best, let us say, between 20 and 25, in their prime, from there everything is just downhill. Every day passes they become increasingly bitter, cynical, and opportunistic. They will use you and suck you dry every step of the way, no to mention that they will never improve or get prettier or of course, younger. So, the fun starts to fade every passing time you get your horizontal fun, it just gets a little bit boring every time until is no fun anymore, but wait. Your duties and obligations only increase, they become more demanding, and they turn into nagging entities that are there only there to make you miserable. In relationships, long term anyway. There isn't any good outcome, never. Never. The quickest you learn this fact the quicker you will be free. Hook up if you must, or get a subscription girlfriend if you have to. But never, never commit, because once you do, you are done. Women are not only craftier in regards to trapping you, but they have all the force of government behind them. Every long-term relationship is only a servitude contract waiting to happen. Wake up my brother, just wake up. You have been upgraded. See you soon.